Ball out near midfield for Virginia on second down. Little play fake. Musket lets it go. Inside the 15, leaping attempt. And the ball taken away by Georgia Tech and Miles Sims. Sims comes up with the interception. Longview, Texas, East Texas product here. Tries the same side of the field. Committee tackle by Virginia. Calandria at quarterback. Virginia in the red zone. Pass to the end zone. And caught for the touchdown. Josh Rollins. A nine-yard TD pass from Anthony Calandria. Calandria looking to the end zone and finding number 89. Rollins for the touchdown. 7-0 Cavaliers. You guys are going to lean on to make some big plays against this high-powered offense today. The sack with the leading tackler for Virginia, although breaking some tackles is Jamal Haynes. First down and more. He's inside the 40, 18 yards on the play. 7-0 lead as we tick inside of eight minutes to go in our first quarter. Anthony Calandria had to come in. Well, was a dangerous play on the edge there. At the 35 and a loss of one. Overloaded to the left side with three receivers. King, pass, complete for first down yardage, down to the 27. Breaks it down right as he passes those sticks and the ball's waiting on him to move the chains. Haynes toward his own bench. Aaron Falmui tracked him down. 41-yard attempt for Aiden Burr. Richard, freshman, 41 yards away. And he sails it through. Georgia Tech leads the ACC in takeaways now with 16. After the Miles Sims interception. They'll keep it on the ground at Jones this time. Near the 30-yard line. There's nothing short of a miracle. Pace. Georgia Tech was ready for that rushing attempt and a loss of two. Anthony Calandria, the freshman from St. Petersburg, Florida, has come in for the injured Tony Muskie who started this game. Calandria will tuck it and run it across midfield. Puts the shoulder down. Takes on the contact at the 41 or two. Jalen King made the stop. Maybe trying to make the Jackets jump here. And will snap it. Calandria again. Couple of moves. Batters his way. Inside the 30. First start against James Madison, a close loss where he threw two TD passes. He's pressured this time, and he goes down. Calandra is sacked. Kyle Kennard. Hole after the penalty. King has it, and he walks in untouched. Faked a little toss to his right, and then took it to the end zone for the Yellow Jackets. For Haynes King. Little fake to the side and untouched into the paint. 10 to 7. A TD catch by Rawlings, the first of his career for the senior from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The third and short. That's Calandria. Did the ball pop out near midfield? Georgia Tech says it has the ball, and the officials agree. The fumble and the recovery by Georgia Tech as Jalen King falls on it for the Yellow Jackets. For Virginia in the fumble recovery. Georgia Tech has the ball just into Virginia territory. They may lose some yardage here, though. This one, Haynes King, he lost one. Georgia Tech stops the run again. First three and out of the game for Virginia. Sparks on the punt. Backtracking Blaylock. Blaylock to his own 40, and now up to midfield. He's on the Virginia side of the 50 on the return by Blaylock. Punt was 56 yards. For the Yellow Jackets after his transfer. Inside of four minutes to go in the second quarter. Jamal Haynes wrapped up by Paul Akiri in a loss of two. Four of eight on third down in the game for Georgia Tech. King again, waving his way. with his second rushing touchdown of the game for Georgia Tech.
get all eyes on that fake to the jet sweep, and it gets those linebackers flying out of there. There you saw Ahern, who overruns his gap. Plenty of time for Georgia Tech to drive. Virginia Tech, Virginia you can't let him do it. It's a first down down the sidelines for Haynes. Down to about the 42. King looks to hang on to it. Shakes a couple of Virginia Cavaliers down the sideline. Adding to his career high in rushing, and then he gets bumped out of bounds. He made fast friends with King's dad. And then when he decided to transfer from Texas A&M, they jumped all over it. Here's the rush. Smith breaking through. Head into the end zone. Dante Smith, the rushing touchdown for Georgia Tech of 33 yards. Good job initially up front, but after that, it's just guys not getting off blocks down the field in wrong angles. And Dante Smith, the fresh legs of the young man, who hasn't carried the football that much here in his senior year. He's missed from 48 already in this game, though. As long as 47 from last year, Washington finds a crease in that secondary, and he's down to the 22. Malik Washington with a grab. 39-yard field goal attempt. Betridge to add three for the Cavaliers, and he's got it. Holding it takes him back to first and 20, just like we saw at the end of the first half. 21st pass attempt of the game for King on schedule, on time, and into the end zone. Eric Singleton Jr. and the touchdown for the Yellow Jackets. So here you go, the first catch. We'll just make it the sure thing. A little stutter and go, and just enough time for the speedster who runs. A sub 10 400 meter dash. 16 yards to Blaylock. And the handoff Smith. He gets tracked down near midfield. It's good hustle by Chico Bennett to get to the running back. Ref Cam showing us that first down effort. Smith. Catch up with him. Aaron Famui. Not bad. The numbers for Georgia Tech on third down. 8 of 13. Virginia got to catch the running back in the backfield and drop Haynes. Famui first on the scene. Buchanan's there as well and a loss of two. If they can get Georgia Tech on their heels a little bit and get something rolling, get into a little bit of a rhythm. Calandria through the progression. Flushed out of that pocket. Up the middle and sliding safely into second base with a first down. Calandria 12 yards on the scamper. A couple of rushing TDs and a passing TD of 58 yards in the third quarter by King to Singleton. But you know, Tom, as good as the offense has looked, I think really the story of the day is a defense that comes in. This is the Georgia Tech we expected, second best in the ACC in total offense. Blasting through, past midfield, Dante Smith down near the 40. Long-term health of a lot of these. And student athletes. First and goal from the 10, Georgia Tech. Blasting through down towards the goal line and in for Dante Smith, who would not be denied. Takes it the 10 yards to the house for Georgia Tech. He's he's really happy, not only with the way that Dante Smith has, has played out on the football field, but but he's battled through some injuries and, and find a way to get something good going for the offense. You gotta hang on to those balls that are in your hands. Calandria has an open man inside the 40 in its fields. Breaks a tackle. And then spins down near the 25. The mark of inside of that. Kenan Johnson. Calandria. Down towards the goal line. Diving forward and in for the touchdown. What an effort from Kobe Pace after the catch. And an eight-yard TD toss from Calandria, his second of the day. Go. A little, little something good going for the hometown Wahoos. And we'll take a look at it. Threw for over 250 yards and engineered the fourth quarter comeback. 27 16 to win at 28 27. Breaking away Haynes. And he's going to go the distance. Jamal Haynes to the end zone. And that play took 43 yards. 
as he took it to the house. With all that space, here's one more look at it, and a good job this entire game by that offensive line up front. And then the skills guys doing the rest. The hustle from big Luke Benson. There to hug him up in a hurry. You know, when Dante Smith wasn't running things like he is right now, they really leaned on him and Trey Cooley quite a bit. He's up there midfield. Pit over Louisville, Virginia over North Carolina. I just, I just knew that this one was going to be a great game. Just surprised that it was, it's really been so lopsided. And there's a heck of a play. If I'm not mistaken, it's now six or seven games total. And I don't think that's ever been done in one season. Good job here defensively by Eddie Kelly. Dallas in there as well. So they both came to town and they've been roommates ever <laughs> since and they hooked up many times this season. Intercepted at the three and returned by Jalen King. Takes it out near the 15. They've lost eight in a row in that series with the Tigers, but the important thing today, first back-to-back -back win since early October of last season for this Georgia Tech program.